One person's trash is sometimes another person's, well, trash. Organizations like Goodwill and the Salvation Army that rely on donations say while they're grateful for the good stuff you give them, they really don't want your junk anymore. Fox 6's Gabriel Mays takes a look at the cost of bad donation items and why it's even happening in the first place. Inside the Salvation Army's downtown Milwaukee facility, these boxes are full of donation items. This one's scrap metal, this one is uh, electronics. Each item waiting to be sorted, then tagged. We go through about 10,000 pounds a day. But not every item donated can be reused and sold at the Salvation Army's thrift stores. If it's obviously broken, uh, then there's not much we can do with it. We do some limited pickups right Steve now. Steve Standard is the Adult we, Rehabilitation we Center pickups, Administrator uh, with the Salvation Army. For two decades, he's seen all kinds of stuff travel in and out of the centers where he's worked. Some good. It was a 1965 Mustang. Some. And then we'll take a look on. Not that. so great. If it smells bad or if it's uh, you know it's been out in the weather for a while, then you know maybe it's just time to take it to the dump. And some causing headaches. Large furniture that is obviously damaged. That, you know it costs us to, to dispose of that kind of stuff. Standard says the facility spent sixty thousand dollars in dump fees last year. We don't generate a lot of trash. We get things that we can't use and we end up, end up throwing it away. And the Salvation Army isn't the only organization dealing with this issue. Goodwills across the country say they've spent millions of dollars getting rid of those unusable items. If you're wondering why some people donate trash over treasure, mental health counselor Stephanie Sarkis has an answer. Some of us have these, these things that we've been taught about not wasting things. And what that turns into is that the guilt you feel when you throw something out. She says when you donate something, it makes you feel less guilty, but it also makes the donation someone else's problem. Is this something that, that should really be donated? If it's unclean, if it's broken, those are those things that you don't want to donate because they don't have the time to go through and clean your stuff. Sarkis says ask yourself the following before you make that trip to your nearest donation center. There's all these different pieces that go into play when you donate something. So you really have to look at, is this still usable? Is it something that you would give someone that you know? So women's clothing like this. So Back at the Salvation the Army, Standard uh, says most people have good intentions when it comes to donating. We get to take that donation and we do great things with it, uh, helping people who can't help themselves. Donation centers like this one say if you're not sure what can and can't be donated, just ask. In Milwaukee, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 6 News. Just a note here, other items the Salvation Army cannot accept. Mattresses because of the risk of bed bugs, of course. Firearms and built in appliances are also not accepted. One of the best items to donate, though, good women's clothing.